what it is what it ain't it's your girl ombre alert and i'm back with another video in this video i am going to be talking about the lori harvey hit and run situation um she did plead not guilty in the case that is the update as of yesterday january the 22nd we're gonna get into it okay um if you if you saw my last video on um her officially being told that she has two misdemeanor offenses um in like the la police department then you know that i'm not gonna play around with this topic okay if you did not know if you are new to this channel my name is ombre Chardé ellison i am 25 years old and i'm from washington dc um if you do not know also i was in a hit and run accident five months ago and um i'm just i don't play when it comes to you know getting into an accident like that and um having a driver be irresponsible and not stop for a person not make sure a person is okay not you know create damage into a person's life i don't agree with that at all so um i am going to be doing topics like this on my channel to spread awareness you know that people need to really pay attention when they're on the road and know that you you are not god you do not have the control over people's life in this specific case lori harvey did not kill anyone she did not injure anyone but she could have it was very serious a very serious car accident car crash whatever the case may be and she could have really hurt someone but with that being said i am going to dig into this topic moving forward but first i do want to say congratulations to my sister b octavia for getting 3k subscribers on her channel as of yesterday i'm so proud of her so i just want to give her a round of applause she's doing wonderful on youtube she's the one that inspired me to start my youtube in the first place so um i just want to say congratulations to her with that being said i do wear her lip gloss all the time because not only because she's my sis but because i'm proud of her i i love her lip gloss the formulas are incredible and she even put it on like a nice little keychain for me so this one between well what <laughs> i like all of them i really was going to be like this one's my favorite this one. but i like all of them all of them serve a different purpose um this teal one is like a peppermint vibe of lip gloss it's so popping it's thick but not too thick and it stays on this one is um a og of hers one of her first ones it was called opal potion um i'm trying to convince her to make this again because i'm running out as you can see i'm gonna need a new one okay um this is the one i have on today it's like a purple um lip glaze so it's not as thick as a regular lip gloss but it is popping as you can see it blends very well with a purple lip liner as i add it to my lips just to give it a little bit more like mm, mm, you know what i'm saying so if you want to support her brand crush on you cosmetics i will link it down below you will um be surprised because the price is right okay so you can go in and grab you a couple lip glosses okay and feel you know popping for the year all right get your lips together for the year she has lip scrubs as well that she is working on so make sure you check out her brand moving forward i'm going to get started on the lori harvey topic at hand if you do want to stay tuned and watch this video make sure you like make sure you subscribe to my channel i just got five new subscribers so i'm impressed i'm excited how y'all doing you know what i'm saying hello make sure you leave me a comment let me know who you are so i know that you subscribe to my channel okay so with that being said we're gonna get started i did make a lori harvey video before um about her officially getting her misdemeanors so if you want to watch that video i will link that below as well so you can know everything that happened in greater detail the fact check and then i'm going to do my opinion if you watch my other videos like the 
um, the Lori Harvey video, the R. Kelly video, the Harvey Weinstein video, then you know that I'm going to do the fact check first and then give my opinion. So with that being said, let's get it pop. But moving on, um, it is officially the 23rd of January, but yesterday it did come out that she pleaded not guilty in, um, in court. And uh, those are the facts, you know. She pled not guilty for some reason, even though there are witnesses, even though her car was laid up in the street. Um, even though she did cause a lot of damage to said vehicle, she did still plead not guilty. So I don't know if she had a talk with her, with someone, and they convinced her that she didn't do anything wrong or whatever, but she tripped, okay? So now we're going to just jump to my opinion on the situation. Um, first, I do want to say that um, she didn't even appear in court. Like, she didn't plead guilty herself. It was her um, attorney, Blair Burke, that officially pled um, not guilty on her behalf. Uh, if... <laughs> Jump into my opinion, I'm just going to say that that's very insulting to be involved in a car crash and not even come to court to give the judge, like, a face-to-face, -face, like, I plead not guilty. I think that that's rude. I think that it shows a level of immaturity that people with money have. Um... I don't know, of course I don't know how she was raised or anything like that. And I said that in the last video. It just makes me feel like, who raised you like that? And I know that Steve Harvey is her stepdad, but he definitely should have told, you know, told her, you got to handle your business. Like, you're in the limelight. You can't just not come to court when you're supposed to. And maybe she didn't have to come to court, but I think that it still would have made her look better to actually come to court take it serious until like look the judge in, in their eyes and be like I plead not guilty um I feel like her doing that shows that she is guilty actually <laughs> and maybe she's trying to fight that fight her her own guilt her own remorse but it's okay to be remorseful that's a really bad situation and I think that she should count her blessings and realize that a, you could have been hurt. B, you could have hurt someone else or ended someone's life. You could have ended your own life. So I just feel like she just showed that she didn't really give a damn um, about anybody in the situation. The police, herself, the person's car, anything. Her own car. But, um, any hoot, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I am going to read the statement of the witness that was there she said harvey left the scene of the collision without providing her info um or contact police as required by law and caused a delay in police investigation um i just feel like you know regardless of the situation she still didn't handle her business she still didn't make sure that the person that um, whose car she hit was taken care of. Um, I feel like, of course, she has the money. You know what I'm saying? Of course, she will have to pay, you know, some type of fee. And it will get paid. But at the end of the day, money isn't everything. I feel like how you handle a situation and how you move, it shows who you really are. And she shows that she's careless. She shows that she's selfish. And she shows that she has no remorse for situations like this because it could have ended really, really, really bad. And she could um, be going to federal prison for murder. You know what I'm saying? What if somebody was actually killed and you still was walking down the street like you didn't see shit? Like you wasn't there? Like that's not your damn car? You know? So I will say that she didn't show any humility. And also... I think it's kind of crazy that between the time of October the 21st when it occurred and now, January the 23rd, she still hasn't said anything about it. 
And some people are even saying, like, she's living her best life and all of this other things. No, she's not. She's trying to distract from what the fuck that she did last year. I didn't forget, but I don't know why y'all forgot. I don't know why y'all just looking at her ass or looking at her titties or looking at how cute she is instead of, like, being like, what's up with that car crash? You know what I'm saying? What, what, what had happened in the car? That's what everybody should be asking her. Instead of asking her what's going on with future, I want to know what had happened in the car. Why you left, sis? Why you left? You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up, you know? Even somebody could have got hurt um, because her big ass G-Wagon was in the street. Someone could have been trying to drive down the street. You know, and then crashed into the jump. You know, something even worse could have happened. Thank God that the fire department and the police got there when they did and blocked off the street. But I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying that something even worse could have happened. And she still, it seems like she still would have acted the same way. You know, I'm not going to give her the benefit of the doubt because she going across the country and she's showing a lot of ass and trying to act like, you know, shit ain't real that's not real life you gotta handle what the fuck you do you know but karma's a bitch and it's coming back it's doo -doo -doo -doo. it's following her so we're gonna see we're gonna see what's really going down and ultimately she could serve one year in prison for this so i think her pleading not guilty is not not good at all for her i don't do I really think that she will go to jail? I feel like she should go to jail, but I don't I don't know if she will go to jail because of her um her connections. I don't feel like she is that famous uh to the point where she has her own status. I feel like it's only because of who she was with. That's really or who she's connected with. That's why she's famous in the first place. Um so we will will see what's going to happen with this case she is supposed to um have a pre-trial hearing in february the 28th so i will be watching out for this okay and i'm gonna let y'all know what's going on so with that being said i'm gonna close out the video it's ombre alert thank you for watching you know what i'm saying make sure you like make sure you comment below and i'll see you in my next video bye